Dr. James Fletcher, the CARICOM climate envoy, has warned Caribbean farmers that rising temperatures will affect crop yields and productivity. The region's agriculture sector has historically faced millions in losses due to major weather events. Dr. Fletcher shared his expertise on the effects of climate change at a recent agriculture convention. The productivity of your crops might be different because for some crops it's just difficult for them to have that same yield when temperatures are always in their 30s than they would have when they are in their 20s or their 20, you know, mid-20s. Some cultivars, some species, well, some varieties, sorry, of plant do better in certain temperature ranges. So as the temperature gets hotter and hotter, it makes it difficult for those plants to now produce the same number of flowers or for those flowers to set fruit the same way. So that's the first problem. So you'll have the hotter temperatures change the whole physiology of the plant. Dr. Fletcher also cautioned farmers that rising temperatures will make it difficult for them to work outdoors and tend to their crops. He expressed concern for the long-term health of agricultural entrepreneurs due to the intense heat. I am very lucky. I get to spend most of my time indoors in an air-conditioned office working. If I had to be spending a lot of my time outdoors like you do on your farm, I really don't know how I would survive because I get out of the shower and I walk out and immediately it's like I've showered again. I'm just dripping with sweat. You have to be doing that every single day. As those temperatures get hotter and hotter, it is more difficult, more uncomfortable, and more unhealthy for you to farm because you're farming in hotter temperatures. I just came back from... I just came back from Nepal. To go to Nepal, I had to travel through Doha, Qatar. I walked out in the temperature, and that was at night. The temperature was 37 degrees Celsius at night in Doha. During the day, it goes up to 40 degrees. Can you imagine what 40 degrees Celsius feels like and having to walk out in that temperature? Now, we may not get there, but we are slowly, slowly, slowly moving in that direction. So it makes it unhealthy for you as a farmer to walk out in those temperatures. The CARICOM Climate Envoy further asserted that climate change is intensifying and impacting water cycles. So we can't predict the rainfall the way we used to be able to predict it before. Most of our agriculture in St. Lucia and in the Caribbean is rain-fed. We're not depending on irrigation. We're not depending on drip irrigation. Some of you do, but most of you have to depend on rainfall. When it does not rain, your crops are under stress, particularly if you have vegetables. I know farmers who farm, particularly like in the Maki, in the Maki watershed. The Maki River is a very interesting river. During the rainy season, it has a very good production of water. But during the dry season, it almost drops down to a trickle. So farmers who are doing vegetables along that Maki River have a serious problem. I know many farmers abandon their farms, their vegetables, during the dry season. So as a farmer, there are serious, con there are serious consequences for you. The former Sustainable Development Minister highlighted the melting of ice caps at the North and the South Poles, stating that this will lead to rising sea levels and push salt water inland, making the soil saline and significantly affecting productivity. Additionally, Agriculture Minister Alfred Prosper recently confirmed that a shortage of farm labour is impacting the island's agriculture sector, raising concerns about food production and supply. To address this issue, the government has allocated $600,000 this financial year to launch its food security initiative. Gina Filippi, HDS News Force.